Hello friends, this is Chinmay Das from Ethereal Elixir and in this episode we are going to try a potato waffle fry. So to make this we need a waffle cutter like this and last size potatoes. So to make this waffle what you have to do is you have to go straight and then at an angle around. You have to turn it around 90 degree or 45 degree and then accordingly you get these waffles. So let's try it. I'm using this waffle cutter here to make beautiful waffles and you can see that the ripple blade or the wrist blade let me insert my attachment and using russet potato here you can use russet or Idaho any last potato should do and if you go just straight up and down then you'll make the ripple cut or the wrist cut to come up with waffle cut you have to turn your potato with each cut like turn at 90 degree or 45 degree angle with each cut then you get beautiful waffles and you can see different shapes coming out depends on what angle you turn your potatoes and look at this pose it looks really really beautiful if you look at this pose the angle is different and compared to this one so one is at 90 degree other one is at 45 degree angle is cut and now i transferred them to a ice cold water bowl so this bowl fill of ice and add a little water and soak it for 30 minutes so that way it removes the excess starch which is there in the potato and then transfer them to a kitchen tissue pat dry them you can fry these potatoes now at this point but i want to take these potatoes to the next level i'm preparing a very thin batter using just four ingredients I have one fourth cup rice flour, one fourth teaspoon chili powder, one fourth teaspoon turmeric powder, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. I added one fourth cup of water to it, make a very, very thin batter. So the batter should be so thin and so running that it should not stick to your potatoes. And you can taste this batter, it should be salty. It should be salty enough so that your potato will taste good. And this is so thin that when you dip a potato in this batter, it should not stick to it, like it should pass through these pores. And my pan is hot, oil is really sizzling. And I add these potatoes, I hear this sizzle, I, it's music to my ear. Wow. And let it cook for two minutes, like Frying at high flame for two minutes is good enough. I prefer my fries like crispy on the outside but soft inside. If you prefer a little more crispy, maybe around 30 more seconds. Transfer to a kitchen tissue, let the excess oil drain out, and then I transfer it to a serving bowl. You can enjoy it with uh, ketchup or any dip of your choice. I sprinkle a little bit of chaat masala on top of it. It's beautiful. Let's test it. Hey guys, it's Nishka Das, and I'm going to be trying this wonderful, crispy potato waffle fries. So, even though pancakes and waffles usually have maple syrup with them, these will take, taste equally good with this hot and spicy and also very sweet sauce. So now we're going to be trying this. And I can even see you guys do these because look at the hose and I really like the crisscross pattern. See, I can even see you. So yeah, see, I can see you guys do these. So it's really cool and I love the crisscross pattern. Okay, so now I'm going to be eating this one which has a really nice asthma crunch. So now I'm going to be trying. So do you guys hear the crunch? It's really satisfying. So I'm going to be trying this one which feels really soft. So now that was crispy and now I'm going to try this one which looks really soft and feels really soft. So that one's really crunchy and this one's a little crispy. I like both of them. 
and I would prefer the crispy one because I love that noise. It's really good. So please do try this crispy recipe and subscribe, share, and like. And don't forget to smash that bell icon. Goodbye.